me the multiplication sentence that it matches. Okay. Teddy, go ahead. I basically did 
I got 91, but instead of doing 10 times 7 and 3 times 7, I think that would have been an easier way than what I did. But instead, well, I did 8 times 7 and 5 times 7. Okay, that works as well. Good. All right, so let's, uh, let me put it over here. All right, so you, you decompose 13 into what? Into 8 and 5. 8 and 5. 8 and 5. And that works as well. <laughs> what did you get for 8 times 7? 8 times 7. Oh, no. Nah. I already have 6. <laughs> okay, anybody hold them? 56. Jared, 56. And then I did the 7 the times 35. Five. Good. And then, and then I added it up and I got 91. Perfect. Okay. Jess. Show me how. Who, who can help me? Um, Model how to separate it on here. Can you do that? Oh, paper, help me. What I did is I divided it into ten and seven. So ten times seven. Yeah. All right. So we did ten times seven. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. This shows yeah. ten times seven. And this one down here shows what? Ten, three, three times, times seven. 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 Please. Seven. I think that way would have been easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three times seven, and when we get seventy plus twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. Who? No. Who? One of you two. When I was talking to Mason or Evelyn, it was Mason that did. Go I ahead. Did, I figured that since we all know our twelve facts, that I would do twelve times seven, which is eighty-four, and then um, added. Oops, am I doing that right? Yep. Yeah. 12 times 7. And then what did you do? And then I just added 7. 12 times 7, and this one down here, what was this model? 7 times 7. Exactly. So he did 12 times 7. He knew his 12 multiplication facts, or 12 times tables, so he did 12 times 7, and then added one more group of 7. Perfect. All right, ready? Oh, Try this. I just thought of another thing that. you could do. Okay, go ahead. You could do 2 times 7 and 11 times 7. That works. 7. Can I can, 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 can we can we do the next one? Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. I'm glad that you guys have all these different ideas. What problem do we do? Look at the array and tell me what Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. So confused. How many? I think I got it. How many down? Nine. 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 Nine.
right, so we have 9 times 14. You decompose the 14 into 9. What? No, I did that wrong. No, 9 and 12. 12. 12 and 2. Don't worry, I can I can edit all this out with okay, the great. movie maker. <laughs> all right, so we have nine times twelve and nine times two, and nine times twelve is one hundred and eight. One hundred eight. And since I didn't know that off the top of my head, what I did was nine times eleven, which is ninety nine plus another nine. plus one more group. Perfect. Then nine times two is eighteen, mm -hmm. and I added um, one hundred and eight plus 18 and I got 126. Perfect. 126. All right, let me show you this on here really quickly and then we can move to the next. So he did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times 9. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 12 times 9. Hold on one sec. 12 times 9. That's what I did. And then 12 times 2. 12 times 2. And then you add them. 12. Is that one? 12 times 2. Hold on one second. And then we added them together. Right? 12 times 9? 108? Wait. 12, 12 times 2? It would be. No, 9 times 2. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep writing. No, that was my fault. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I yeah, said. Did you say 12? Yeah. I oh, and also, I had a little trouble on that. Okay. Because, um, since I forgot what I counted, because my eyes kept kept on going like this. Like when you're counting the array? Yeah, when I was counting the array to uh -huh. do that, I, I couldn't count it again because my eyes just kept on shaking and I couldn't. Yeah. So it was hard for you to do that. Yeah. Okay, um, Mason, yeah. share yours. Well, it was 12 times 9, which is 126. Okay. Plus 10 and 4, that's what I did, plus 14, and then I multiplied it by 9, and I got 90, and then... So you did the 9 times 10, and you got 90? Yeah, and then I did, I got 36, but then I added it wrong. For the 9 times and, 4. Yeah, and then somehow I got 106, and then I thought logically, mm -hmm. and figured there would be no way that I could add 30 to 90 and get it or just 106. Perfect. Very good. Riley, go ahead. Um, I divided 14 into 10 and 4, and then I did 9 times 4 and 9 times 10. 10 and 4. Okay, so you did 10 times 9 and got? Oh, um, 92. Okay, and then you did 4 times 9? 36. 36, and then added it. And then like I that. actually, oh, I did it I added 10 to um, 90, so I got 197. Oh, you're talking about how your, your addition strategy. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, so you took 10 away from the 36 and made it 26, mm -hmm. and took the 10 and added it to the 90 and made it 100, and then 100 plus 26, and you got 126. Very good. All right, hands down for just a second. Try this one. No array this time. 12 nice. times 14. Can you do it? All an array? No! Why do you do an array? Wait till my These strategies we've been trying. Try it. Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you think you have an answer. Don't talk about it yet. Hold on.
times 12 would be 24, and then I added it and got 168. I didn't decompose it, I did 4 times 2, and I got 8, and then I did 10 times 2 and got 100, and then 4 times 10 and 40, and then 2 times 10 and 20, and then added that all together. which made it 164, and then I added the 4, which made it 160. And then I added 20, and made it 68. And then I added 10 plus 10 equals 100, so I got 168. Four. Okay. Um, Blaine, you want to hear yours? No, I did, um, 14 times 10. Where did you get 10 from? I got 10 from 12 and I decomposed it to 10 and 2. Okay, so this is now 10 and 2. So after I did 14 times 10, I got 140. 14 times 10 was 140. And then I did 14 times 2 and I got 28. Okay. And I added them together and got 168. All right. That one. I decomposed 14 into 12 and 2. <coughs> and then I did 12 times 12, 144. 144. And then 2 times 12, 24. And then added it and got 168. That is precisely what I did the same thing. Briar, different? Something different? I did. Um, I knew that 12 times 12 was 144. Okay. And then I knew that. Two, that 12 was only two away from 14, so I did 12 times two and I got 24. And then I added those together and I got 168. Perfect. I All right, who, who, who just said that? Jess? All right, share what happened. Um, what, what answer did you get? 156. Okay. I did 12 times 12, which is 144. Okay. But then. Um, I did 12 plus 144. You added one more group instead of two yes. more groups of 12. All right, so if we add one more group of 12, what do we get? 156. 156, I mean. 156, but that's how many groups of 12? This is 12 groups of 12 plus one more is how many groups? 13. 13 groups, but we needed how many? 14, so we'll add one more. All right, but she caught, she caught her mistake. Very good. Good job. Make sense? I do. Yes? Okay, only one one more that is different from how we have up here already. I have one. I got 108 because, um, well, I kind of forgot that you had to do all the places. So I just... What do you mean all the places? All the place back. Okay. So I just did 10 times 10, which is 100. So, where did you get 10 from? <coughs> Tell I me what you... Okay. Both into 10 and um, the ones did it. Oh, okay. I see. You just... I see what you did. All right, go ahead. I got that from And then I did those two and got 100. Can I decompose this into 4 and 2 so we can see this a little bit easier? Okay, so you did 10 times 10 and you got 100. And then I did four times two, which is eight. Yeah, I and then I, I used them together because I forgot you had to do the other. Oops. And you got one oh eight. That's where the one oh eight came from. So what did yeah. you for, what did you forget to do? Let's do it correctly. Um I should have done the ten times ten, which is hundred. Okay. And then the ten times two, which is twenty, <coughs> and added hundred plus twenty and got hundred. And then I should have done the four times the ten and got forty, and then exactly. added that to one hundred twenty, which is one hundred sixty. And then you already had the eight from the four times the ten. Perfect. Does that make sense now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. Eighteen times fifteen. Okay. Think about it. Let's see a thumbs up when you think you have an answer. Eighteen times.
comes up, I'll call on you. which equals 40 and I did 196 plus 40 which equals Ten times ten is one hundred. 
And then I did 10 times 5, which is 50. 50. Okay. And then I added those together and I got 150. Okay. And then I did 8 times 10. 8 times 10. And I got 80. Okay. And then I got, and then I did 8 times 5, and, I, and that was 40. Okay. And then I added those two together and I got 120. And then I added 120 and 150 together to get 270. Oops. Thank you. 